this is very important as well. Before I cut my floorboard with my power saw, mm -hmm. I set the gauge of my saw to the thickness of the floor so I don't cut through the floor joist. I'm only cutting through the floor. Okay. Can you imagine cutting through the floor joist? You're causing yourself massive damage. Oh. So what I do, the power saw's not plugged in, obviously. I sit it where the hole is and I lower it and feel where the bottom of the floor is. Ah, so you're only cutting the top timber, not the bottom timber. That's right. Oh. If I cut through the bottom timber, I've got problems. Now, obviously, if I cut five or 10 mil, that's fine. But once I exceed one third the thickness of that timber, it's gonna weaken the structure. Mr. Sink, if you can step out of the way because this is gonna make a mess and a lot of noise, I'll put my safety gear on. Now that I've actually taken out my first board and cleaned my groove for my new board to go in and cleaned the tongue so as my new board can sit on top of it, I can cut the rest out. Now that we've actually removed all the floorboards that we need to replace, the next process is to put in our support trimmers. And this is what it looks like. Well, have a close look at the damage that termites left behind. This hole is massive. It goes like way, way down there. I can't even, I can't even reach the end of it. That's how far back it's gone. The homeowners are actually quite lucky that they didn't eat all the floorboards and they only ate the floor joists. That's correct, Mr. Sink. We are very lucky. Now that our trimmers are in, we're ready to put our floorboards down. Because we're going to be nailing into OB hardwood, I need to pre-draw my holes, otherwise the nails will just bend every time I try and put them in. Now we punch the nails home, just slightly past the surface of the floorboards, that way we can fill it with putty. Now that we're down to our last floorboard, it's important that before I put it in, I cut the back of this groove. And that's the only way that this board will go in position. If we look down here, I'll explain to you a little bit more. There's my tongue. I can't put it, the groove into the existing tongue and push down. So therefore, that's all going to be pointed out. The job is done and it looks like nothing's ever happened except it still needs a couple things to be done you need still need to um, putty it that's right mate what we've got to do now is um, have the uh, nail holes and any gaps that are there putty and then along comes the floor sander obviously the floor sander does that himself we don't need to do anything it's now up to the client to engage somebody no more bouncy floors and no more creaking that's right and no more termites and no more termites that's it Coming up, Serge has another great tip and Mr. Sink and the boys meet up with someone at the home show.